Well, this is concerning. The California uh, Department of Water Resources, where we were getting the lake levels, uh, Lake Oroville, how it was rising, those hourly data readings. This is what you get now when you click on that link. And Mike Morales was also getting the forbidden page and others. So funny that it's now, you know, it's got to be at 8.95 now. And well, perhaps it's even more than 8.95 because you had flash flood warnings in your campfire area, which means paradise. This is your mainstream, local mainstream media um, telling you that the National Weather Service in Sacramento issued flash flood warnings until 10 p.m. Until 10 p.m. Well, it's 12.24 a.m. on the East Coast, so it is 9.24 in California. And you have, what, 40 minutes to go, approximately? Um, so this is mainstream media reporting for the campfire burn area in Central Butte County. At 4.06, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms with heavy rain moving over the campfire burn area. Thunderstorms are expected to spread west over the burn scar area near Paradise through the 5 p.m. hour. Heavy rain rates expected to be high enough to generate debris flow in the steep portions of the burn. Um, here, your warnings for flash flooding, Polga, Concow, Feather River tributaries, tributaries, Highway 70, and the Skyway in Butte County. Well, National Weather Service included Oroville, possibly Chico, but Oroville, along with Brownsville, Burlton, uh, Sterling City, and other um, paradise. But Oroville, some locations will experience flooding, Oroville being one of them. All right, um, until 10.45 p.m. So you have still, they've extended the hour, then this mainstream media article here. Um, flash flood warnings. Looks like uh, you've got some pretty bad thunderstorms right here in this area. And this is what we get on the Department of Water Resources, that hourly data reading. Forbidden, you don't have permission to access. All right, well. We see that that line, very defined line of precipitation is gone. See the extremely low frequencies crossing uh, in Nevada. Maybe they're not crossing, wait. No, they're not crossing, but they're uh, quite powerful. And this doesn't look good. Are you having a lot of flash flooding? Or are you having flooding? Are you having terrific rain? And look at this. Look at all of these lines. This thing is fried. This thing is absolutely. You see all of these lines in the area where it's yeah, supposed to be just a solid you know, red or yellow, but no. You've got this right smack in the middle here, fried with frequencies. Man-made. All right, why, why are they bringing you a man-made thunderstorm, flash flood warnings, flooding for Oroville? And this is what you get. Okay. Um, let me just 
look at later on. Yeah. Got an awful lot of, look at how fried this is right here. See all the ripples? First of all, do you see the extremely low frequencies, the pie, you know, cut out? Look at this. This is being hit with microwaves. Don't want to scare anybody, but do want to say that you need to pay very close attention to what is taking place here. That they are, I mean, look at this square right here. This is so uh, intentional. This is deliberately manufactured in an area where you've got that Lake Oroville. Now, no doubt, it's at 895. Um, but here you've got this rectangle. Uh, yeah. You can see these ripples right here. Signature microwaves. Oh boy, guys, I'm so sorry that you have to be living this. It's so unbelievably outrageous. Life has turned, guys, and it's not turning back. This is our new life now. This thing, it looks singed with electromagnetic frequencies. So, well, I'll link below to your flood warning. Um, if anybody else knows of a site where you can get the readings on the level of Lake Oroville, would you please post the link below? And you guys in uh, Oroville um, and above, would you let us know if you have had and still are having tremendous amounts of rainfall? Ooh, stay safe, everybody.